Hi everyone, this is a tutorial video of two models of a soccer ball using Zen magnets. A small design with 1092 magnets and a large design with 3912 magnets. You'll need 12 of these pentagons. They are four magnets on a side and one thick for a 30, 31 magnets in all. So 12 of those. You'll need 4 times 5 is 20 of these stacked rings of 18 magnets each. And the way that you assemble this is by lining up the edges of these stack rings with the edge of the pentagon like that and taking the next one doing the same thing but this time at the corner making sure that you get a little triangle at the corner between my fingers there with both rings laying down flat against the back side of the pentagon and continuing around so you continue adding rings to each of the five sides of the pentagon that's what it looks like after you've got five put together and you count up four magnets from the corner of one pentagon and that's where you put the next one and again each time each pentagon has five rings around it and continuing on until you've added all of the rings and pentagons you get this a soccer ball, truncated icosahedron. What you will need are 12 of these pentagonal units. They're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on a side, and they're just one thick, made in the usual way by winding around a central point. And then you will need 20 of these hexagonal units. These are too thick, uh, double thick, both around this way and this way. And you'll see that they don't line up perfectly. This um, is a longer side than this. This is six, this is eight, six, eight, six, eight and then on the other side it's seven 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 all the way around it's a perfect hexagon on this side and you need to set them up this way so that they will mesh together right to form the project and to make this hexagonal piece you need two rings of 30 magnets each and then you wind these rings in the following way to make the hex side you start off and lay down one two three four five six magnets make a sharp corner then lay down seven magnets make a sharp corner another seven magnets, make a sharp corner, seven magnets in a sharp corner, seven magnets in a sharp corner, and then the final side has seven magnets just like that. And the top side that has six and eight magnets alternatingly 
you start off with five magnets on one side, then lay down four, eight in a sharp corner, six in a sharp corner, eight in a sharp corner, six in a sharp corner, and then finally eight, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you lay this uh, six, eight odd shaped hexagon over the perfect hexagon with sides of seven. And you can see that this is the, the seven side on the top piece. I'm sorry, eight side on the top piece and seven on the bottom. They don't perfectly overlap. And to make sure that they're meshing correctly, you push in on the top side, the top right corner, top left uh, side, and the bottom side, and then turn it over, push down on the top and the bottom right side, and the bottom left side, to restore that perfect hexagon shape that you started with. And that's how to make the hex pieces. And the next step is to assemble the truncated dodecahedron, truncated icosahedron shape. And that's accomplished by matching up the six side of this hexagonal piece with the bottom edge of this pentagonal piece. So the seven magnets of the pentagon match up with the bottom layer of this hexagon and then it comes forward and snaps into place with the top layer as well. And then you do the same thing with the other hexagonal pieces. The bottom of a completed or nearly completed ball tends to collapse if it rests on a pentagonal face, as shown here. The ball is strong when handled and when resting on a hexagonal face, as shown here.